Hey, these fans, welcome to Before the Bounce for round 10, the last game of the home and away season. Lib, time has flown by. We're coming off an 88 point win, a record breaking win. You must have had a lot of fun out there at Optus Stadium. Oh, it was a terrific night, not only for the players, but for the club, the staff. It was a huge trip to Perth, and I'm sure our fans really enjoyed it as well. It looked like the conditions out there really suited us. We were able to play fast footy, hitting the targets, moving the ball well. Do you think that suited the way we played? Yeah, absolutely. I think the, the, surround, the surrounding stadium and Optus being such a, I guess, a unique place to play footy, for us, without any wind, can, wind or elements that we have to face like we do at Casey, it really allowed us to, to play all three styles of our game, which was you know our contest, our defence, but then particularly what shone through on the weekend was our offence. The skills by foot and the composure with ball in hand, it really was on show. Do you think that has improved a lot, not only this season, but over the past few years, and the club has come a long way? Yeah, I think what was particularly noticeable on the weekend was our ability to use our numbers. And, and you would have seen, fans would have seen, our ability just to use the hands and to overlap the opposition and not to blaze away and dump it forward uh, because that's where usually a lot of the numbers, defensive numbers are setting up. So I think our ability to overlap that defensive player really shone through and it was able, we were able to get the best chance to get a good score on the board. So I think that was the most exciting part about the weekend. Fremantle were missing a few key players, but it was a pivotal win to set up the opportunity to finish top two. We're currently sitting second, only 4% behind Adelaide. So results can change this weekend. They play St Kilda, but it is crucial that we win our game. We're playing an informed team in Carlton who sit eighth on the ladder. They can't make the finals, but you know they're going to be coming for a win. Oh, absolutely. I think Carlton are the next best uh, team in the competition at the moment. They've been, they're three and zip in the last three rounds. Uh, they're playing some really good footy. They're number one in uncontested possessions, number one in contested possessions. So they are on the, the rise. They want to finish their season well. And I think they're going to come with a lot of hunt and they're going to come with a lot of pressure and they're going to try and beat us. And that's something that we need to, to make sure that we're ready for um, and to finish off our season with all our might because, yeah, we're not at finals yet and we need to make sure we get this game done. Is that a bit of a, a new challenge, almost heading into a game with expectation? You should win this, you should finish top two, but it is something you probably haven't experienced in the past. Yeah, I think uh, it, it maybe has been something that over the past we've, we've struggled with, but I think we've matured uh, a lot as a group. And it's, it's an opportunity this weekend to really stick to our process and stick to what we've been doing so well over the last five rounds in particular is to just focus on our game plan and how we can get that better rather than focusing on the opposition. Hopefully send you into finals with some form. A win would mean top two finish, a week off, and then a home prelim. So a massive game. We are playing at Casey Fields. We spoke about how Optus Stadium suited us because it was so clean and fast. Casey's the complete opposite, but we have won 12 games in a row. Do you feel like we adapt well when we're out there and we use the conditions to our advantage, despite it might not necessarily set up that same style of footy? Absolutely. I think knowing the ground that you play at is super important, particularly uh, in women's football. And for us, we're lucky to be playing at Casey this weekend because we train there and we know the conditions. We know what it's like. We know how to, as you say, Ben, uh, suit our game style to that and also take it on. I think at times when opposition teams come there, you know, the wind or the elements can sort of confine you to playing safe footy. But I think that what we've been able to do this year is really try and broaden that out a bit and still play the same style that we've been aiming to all season. We have one change. Eden Zanka is out. Tali Gillard, a little bit of an injury after last week, but she'll be right to go for finals, no doubt. Now, Liv, your first point to look out for this week is? Yes, it's a very, very special round. It's the BCNA uh, round and we'll be wearing, so I've got my, my pin here, but we'll be wearing pink socks on the weekend and the club has been a part of this round for 17 years. Uh, and I believe that it's one of the first years that we'll be celebrating as a, as a women's team. And I think it's so important for us to just highlight how much of a, an impact that breast cancer can have on, uh, on every, everyone's lives. And I know that it's, it's touched a few of our um, players' families' lives. So it's, yeah, it's going to be a really important weekend to support and get around. And yeah, so wear your pink to the game. <laughs> it is a, a pink round for us and we'll be excited to take part in it. 
Absolutely. It'll be nice to see pink all around Casey Fields. Now, Liv, my point has to be the milestone of yourself. Livy Birch, 50 oh, games. No. Just the fourth person in AFLW history. I don't want to embarrass you, but it is a huge milestone. You must be proud of your journey to here. Obviously, some of those games with the dogs, some with the Ds, but 50 games in AFLW is a big number. At some stage, only six games in a season. Yeah, no, it's been uh, an absolute... The girls were amazing last night. The, the club put a little bit of a package together and uh, it just... Yeah, being a part of the D's has been the, the highlight of my career so far and, and the team around me is uh, amazing and I just love playing for this this group and uh, it's just been, it's been a long journey. It's been six years and uh, playing 50 consecutive games without missing anything with injury has been <laughs> tough on the body but and on the mind. But no, it's been, it's, yeah, it's, it's been enormous. And I'm really, really excited to be out at Casey this weekend, sharing it with my friends and family who have been, also been a massive part in it. Well, congratulations on that. Hopefully you get the win and there are a few more wins left for you this season. Enjoy a big night at Casey Fields. Thanks, Ben. Go Dees. <laughs>